In this section, we are looking at the gradient of a straight line. So generally, a uh, gradient measure how steep a line is. So it measures the steepness of a line. And we can use a formula. So this formula shouldn't be too new to most of you. You should have learned this formula since like one. So this gradient formula make use of two coordinates. Um, to calculate the steepness. So that is the mathematical formula for the gradient. So by looking at the value of a gradient, we can tell the direction of a straight line. So there's a few category which you will need to know. So if you've got positive gradient, you should be looking at a, a line that is going upwards. If you've got negative gradient, it should be a line that's coming down. If you got a zero gradient, then essentially that's a horizontal line. Undefined gradient usually belongs to vertical line. So these are the few category of gradient that you actually need to know. So gradient is strict, uh, very much related to the equation that we'll be looking at later on. Okay, so before we look at equation, so first of all, uh, the most basic will be to be able to use a formula on two coordinates. So uh, in example 6a, okay, so I would like to apply the gradient formula. So if you look carefully at the gradient formula, okay, the numerator is a subtraction in the y coordinates. The denominator is a subtraction in the x coordinate. So it doesn't matter which one you subtract, but they got to be subtracted in the correct direction or rather in the same direction. So it can, so, so sometimes, right, instead of y2 minus y1, we can have y1 minus y2. So if that is the case, then it should be x1 minus x2. So it doesn't matter, it will still give you the same value of the gradient, it doesn't change. So sometimes to prevent careless mistake, I actually tell students to do this. So I will do the arrow like this. So then you will do a four minus 10. So you can see the direction of your subtraction. So that is to prevent careless mistake. So the gradient is three. Okay, so if you use this arrow technique, it will prevent the callus in um, your gradient, which subsequently sometimes can affect a long question. Okay, so for of course, for part B, we're going to go backwards. So they gave us coordinates, but they gave us, um, there are some unknowns in the coordinate, but we do know that the gradient is three over five. So it's a bit like working backwards. So it doesn't matter, you can still use the formula. So use it in the same direction. So be careful if they are unknown. So when you are doing the subtraction, you got to do it in a bracket. So you got to expand out the bracket, minus k minus two, that will give me minus nine minus k. So from here, you equate your gradient to the numerical value that is given, and then do your usual cross multiply. So that is uh, working backwards. So you have to know in both ways, uh, uh, how do you apply the gradient formula? Okay. So uh, another thing regarding gradient will be there will, sometimes there will be this phrase that try to describe to you same gradient. So there's a few phrases that describe same gradient. So when we see the word parallel, Parallel also have the idea of same gradient. 
So collinearity, right, also have the idea of same gradient. So if uh, when we say like two or three points are collinear, essentially, right, they are lying on a straight line. So they got the same gradient. So the three points are collinear or they got the same gradient. So these are the few phrases that actually imply same gradient. Okay, so later on when we explore the equation of a line, we will be using the same idea again. So the gradient is a very essential concept before you go on to the equation of a line. So uh, if you want to visualize how, in this example, if you want to visualize what does it mean by the three points are collinear, the three points are on a straight line, you can just draw a straight line So you just rent, you can plot. So these are this this is the meaning. The three points fall nicely on a straight line. So generally, if it's a straight line, any gradient will be the same. So which means right, if I explore this gradient, gradient A B, if I explore this gradient, or if I explore this gradient. So there are three possible gradients that I can explore. So these three possible gradients should be the same numerical value. Okay, so because of this concept, you choose any of the two grade, choose, choose from the three gradient. You just need to choose any two that you, you like, and then you try to equate the two gradient. Okay, so the three gradients are the same. So the gradient AB should be the same as gradient BC should be equal to gradient AC. So if I'm going to find, if I will need to find the value of the unknown, I can just choose any of the two gradient. So for example, I'm going to choose gradient AB. So maybe I'm going to choose gradient uh, uh, AC. So AC will be K minus six and nine minus one. So they are supposed to be the same gradient. So you need to understand the implication of same gradient. That means you apply the formula, then they can be the same value. So from here, it's actually pretty easy to get the unknown. So there's a few other scenario where you will face the issue of same gradient. So, but they can come to you in a different format. So the idea is to extract the, the same gradient concept. 